grab a hold of the jaws, hold on to it as he thrashes, rolls and tries to... This video of an animal trainer getting his arm stuck in the jaws of an alligator made headlines recently, and it got us thinking about the people who spend their lives working one-on-one -on -one with the world's most dangerous predators, animals who, at any moment, can bite the hand that feeds. All right. Face to face with some of the most fearsome beasts on Earth. Have a look at that. Have a look at these teeth. See those teeth? Animal Planet host and trainer Dave Salmoni shows no fear. Hey! Hey! Get out of here! From getting dangerously close to a lion's cub. Where's your mummy? Is she gonna come bite me? To taking his own cut of a lion's kill. I'm sure old Brutus won't miss it. He walks a fine line between courage and craziness. You ready? Yeah. When he took me into a tiger enclosure, okay. even though I was petrified. You can pat him if you want. Nice. He knows you're nervous of him. He was cool, calm, utterly in control. The consummate predator whisperer. The best strategy and technique that I use to keep myself safe is just reading the animal. You're always watching their posture. You're always watching what they're saying to you because they're always communicating. Are you ever not scared? I'm never scared. Uh, I'm definitely scared. Like not even partly scared, 100% scared. But Salmoni has tasted fear, terror in fact. 13 years ago when he was just starting out, a 500 pound lion named Bongo turned on him. As he came up on my throat, I gave him my forearm instead to block him from getting to my throat. He sunk his teeth down into my forearm and then tried to drag me to the ground to kill me. Kept my legs underneath me and let him tear my forearm out. Were you terrified? Yeah, that was the only time and the first time I've ever remember feeling true fear. Thinking in my head, I'm dying right now, I'm getting killed. It is a harsh lesson and one learned repeatedly by animal trainers. Thousands of people have watched the attacks on YouTube, from boxing kangaroos <laughs> to rampaging elephants. Two years ago at a hotel in Las Vegas, tourists filmed this lion suddenly attacking its handler. You can come play with him if you want. Really? Today, Salmoni is confident enough in his skills to allow amateurs like me to conduct our entire interview with a wild animal at our side. So in the back of your mind, even with this very young, very right docile, very relaxed animal, you're thinking it's possible? There's no part of my, although I have eye contact with you, there's no part of my brain that isn't focused on him right now. And knowing that, you know, more than likely, he'd probably go after you before he goes after me. That's great. And I'm here to stop that. <laughs> That's really comforting. Hey, well, I appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh yeah, you gonna bite his shirt? Dave even encouraged me to give the lion a head bump, which is apparently a standard okay. lion greeting. So put your head down and forehead to forehead, give him a lump. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done on television. Watch this, ready? Oh, he's distracted. Yeah, it's fine. Just, if you put your head into there, he'll, he'll bump you. <laughs> Turns out some lions are skeptical about the news media. Yeah, I know. You shouldn't do that. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to get him to greet you. I mean, just playing devil's advocate, of course. you can imagine there are a lot of people who would hear your story and say, this guy's nuts right. for continuing to do this. Totally. Certainly, I have lived my life since I started working with big cats with the knowledge that there's a great chance that I could be killed by the very thing that I love so much. I've been through it. So I'm willing to risk the fact that I may get killed by one of these animals because I love it so much. It's worth the risk. To me. Good boy.